Dan Larson here at the photo booth checking out the stuff that was sent to the post office box sent in by Toy Galaxy viewers, or as we like to call them here, Toy Galaxians. Uh, real quick before I get to that, I did attend New York Toy Fair 2019 this weekend uh, for the first time ever, for the only time ever. There's only one uh, New York Toy Fair 2019. It was a lot of fun, very educational. The best part about it was seeing all the toys, of course. Uh, the worst part about it was not being able to buy any of those toys. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Hasbro's new Power Rangers line of action figures, very similar to the Black Series and the uh, Marvel Legends. Uh, so when I got the, and, I, and I got to see those figures in person, they look amazing. Uh, but when I got back home, I went out and bought the SH Figuarts Anniversary White Ranger uh, that comes with the Jason David Frank head that I don't care about. Uh, this should hold me over until Hasbro releases theirs uh, sometime, hopefully soon. Uh, I did do a sit-down interview type thing with Pixel Dan over on his channel. Go check that out if you haven't already to hear Dan and I talk about the show and what we liked and what disappointed us and all that stuff. I'm gonna get the Ranger out of here. On with the mail up first. Got uh, a box from Eli, Judah, Cadence, and Inez. The whole family, they're all from Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, last time they sent in a bunch of fun stuff. Uh, I am not surprised to see that they sent in a bunch of fun stuff again. Uh, this bag in particular was addressed to uh, Mrs. Toy Galaxy. Enclosed inside are a pony whose name I don't know, but there's the cutie mark if you know which one that is. This box is blocking my light. Uh, we've also got a tiny Care Bear whose name I don't know. Uh, this one is Sir Snooze a lot. And we've got a Kali from, uh, I believe this is from, uh, you know, I was gonna say Adventure People, but it's not. There's a line that I'm drawing a blank on. It was like a dollhouse kind of line. Uh, I can't remember who made it. Uh, this guy, or gal, uh, had his snout somewhere and got a little scratched up, but still, those are adorable. Mrs. Toy Galaxy absolutely loved them and added them, or will be <laughs> adding them to her, uh, to her toy collection. Uh, also in this box, this box is packed up with stuff, so I gotta move on uh, pretty quickly here. We got Agent, we got a giant Agent Smith, uh, and there's actually, I think there's a stand in here. We've got Marvel Legends Monster Venom, Build-A-Figure, uh, two pieces anyway, um, I think, I hate to say it, I think I have the torso. I think I have the torso. Nope, I had a torso and an arm and a head, uh, so I do need that leg, but I guess I'm gonna have an extra torso here. That's fine, though. Uh, in this small bag, we've got uh, Space Venom arm, Sasquatch head, and a Mantis body. Uh, we've got Snout Spout who is, uh, as always, missing the plug for his uh, water. You fill him with water, you press the thing, and then uh, he squirts water out of his nose, just like most firemen do. We've got a metal, or I think these might have been branded titanium. I can't remember off the top of my head. Captain America, uh, SD style. And then we've got uh, Overlord from Blackstar, who... Uh, <laughs> This is not his cape. <laughs> this cape, uh, I think this is a uh, She-Ra cape, actually. Uh, but that doesn't mean it doesn't look fabulous on him. Look at that. Hey. The flint in his sparking effect still works. Hips aren't in terrible shape. That's actually, I mean, this is, this is probably standard uh, condition that you would see that figure in uh, these days. A um, couple more bits in here. We've got Condor and Brad Turner from Mask. We've got a uh, skateboard, and I don't know if this is like Bart Simpson raisin, uh, flat top haircut uh, with the uh, skateboard. This is uh, from Puzzler. I'll, I don't know this guy's uh, specific name or gal, I don't know. Uh, but this was one of six GoBots that uh, all combined. It was the GoBot combiner. They've all got their own individual uh, robot modes and car modes. This one's a Porsche missing a headlight. Uh, but they do combine, and I will say that I think Puzzler as a combiner is actually uh, a little bit better than Devastator, in my opinion. Uh, this, I think, is the stand for Agent Smith. Right. We've got, uh, oh, there's a muscle figure here. And then a Matrix figure. Uh, this is McFarlane Toys um, from uh, Series 2. I don't remember exactly what moment that is. Oh, uh, assemble base to recreate the key scene from Matrix Reloaded and Matrix Revolutions. That, uh, I was gonna say that's the only Matrix figure I own, but that's not true because Agent Smith is sitting right here. Uh, I've also got Hurricane from Mask. 
Eh. Uh, with uh, Hondo McLean in there. And this one is in rough shape. <laughs> it's cool, it's always been one of my favorites. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely in rough shape with the... Uh, uh, chrome is just practically gone. Missing the uh, bomb on the back there. We've got a Trobit, also from Black Star. Not in bad shape. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, I'm gonna blank on his name. I can't remember his name, uh, but I believe this is the Night Force version uh, of that character. We've got Matt Tracker. I'm just going to move right along uh, from that one. Uh, Matt Tracker sans either helmet. Uh, and then this dude. I don't remember. I don't know any of these guys' names from uh, Muscle. Uh, I never really followed the Kaneku Man series, so I don't know who anybody actually is. I just know they're... Uh, I know my names for them, and that guy was just like, he's a wall. He's a brick. He actually reminds me of Gold Lighten. Uh, I don't know if there's supposed to be a connection to that actual character, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, in this box <laughs> is uh, an absolutely incredible piece here. One that I did not know existed. I am familiar with uh, Ghost Starscream. I did not know they made this particular mold as Ghost Starscream. Um, it is a little beat, uh, but that does tend to happen with... Translucent plastic. I don't know which worse it has a worse track record translucent plastic or gold plastic Over the years, uh, but this is a fantastic piece and I I love 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 this mold And I, I like I said, I did not know they made a translucent uh, ghost star screen like this uh, I think it was probably like a, uh, a Japan release only or probably a website exclusive um, this is the uh, instructions for it. Oh, yeah, so Definitely a Japanese release, but man, do I love this thing. Uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for sending that in. Lastly, in the box here, uh, from Eli and Judah and Cadence and Inez, um, th there's a band involved here. Check out uh, Get to the Chopper. Uh, they got a Facebook page, got a couple of songs on there, a couple of tracks, just, you know, you know, uh, toy, collector, rock, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're into that, uh, go check them out. Give them a uh, click or two. And uh, thank you very much, guys. This is some awesome stuff. Up next is Jim from Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, Jim and I actually go way back. Jim, uh, we, we both went to college uh, in the 90s. That's not the only thing that uh, <laughs> connects us. We actually went to the same college uh, and, and uh, shared a suite. It's like you have dorm rooms that are all kind of connected uh, with a with a shared sort of common area. And that's how we met and became friends and uh, Bonded over our love of video games and action figures the things that bring us all together uh, So this is a bunch of bits and stuff that Jim sent in uh, because uh, Humorously enough. It's probably not that humorous. Um, I bought Jim's toy collection from him Quite a few years ago now, uh, all kinds of uh, Gundam models, model kits, uh, Star Wars action figures. Jim, uh, don't correct me if I'm wrong here, uh, but there was also some G.I. Joe guys in there. I believe one of my favorites in the best condition that I've ever seen him in, that was Ghost Rider. Uh, one of the pilots, and he has like a red scarf around his neck. Um, so in here we've got some stick fuzz, some stick fuzz bits, uh, some leftover Gundam model pieces still in the sprue here just there's always this extra extra joints and pins and stuff from Gundams that just yeah I, I always assume I missed something but I think they just always include extra pieces um, we've got a shield from something I think Jim told me what these things were from in his note but uh, I didn't uh, I didn't read that note right before I came on and started shooting this just now but uh, all kinds of fun stuff in here hey there's a uh, suitcase with uh, just one blaster in there, but uh, these are all bits left over uh, that Jim found since I actually purchased this collection from him So he figured uh, you know, he wanted he's been watching the show He wanted to contribute so he would hook me up with all these little bits that I might still need From the things that I purchased from him back then at no extra charge That is the mark of a true gentleman and friend Jim. Thanks a lot for sending that stuff in man. Next is John from Bay City, Michigan. John is another repeat contributor to the show. John was pretty sure that I like Jets. And John is right. Uh, he also sends in some truly, truly random stuff uh, that is nothing but fun. This is a 1978 Burger King Corporation. This would have been in like a kid's meal thing. It's a tiny little Frisbee. I, 
I was going to say I probably had one of these, but in 1978 I was... I don't think I was old enough to get um, toys or even Happy Meals yet. Uh, in here we've got a couple other Happy Meal type toys. We've got... Uh, I don't remember the bird's name. Uh, does she represent the Chicken McNuggets? I don't know what she's there for. But this is like a little train set that you could have made. Assemble that thing, put all the trains together. We've got uh, Mike Wazowski. This weird thing. Just another uh, random McDonald's Happy Meal uh, toy. There's the bird, 1988 it says. Hamburglar, that guy, what's this? I've never seen that dude, but what's this to Grimace? Uh, who is this? I don't know who this is. <laughs> I don't remember ever seeing that bug. That must have been a short term or one time marketing campaign thing. Oh, here's another train thing. This has the uh, tiny hamburger guys. I don't know what they're called. But uh, I assume they pop up when those wheels spin. Oh, we got some bot bots. The flashlight guy. The tape dispenser guy. I don't know what this weird frog is from. We've got uh, Pathfinder from the GoBots. One of my all-time favorites. I'm just a general fan of the GoBots. I don't care what reputation they have. I like them both. I like Transformers. I like GoBots. I like anything that turns from one thing into a robot. Um, we got... Grimace, a clip with <laughs> Snap, Crackle, and Pop on it. Uh, this weird little worm guy, I don't know what he's from. Another bot bot in here. We're gonna get to the Jets here in a second. Um, yeah, I don't know what these guys are. Somebody help me out with these things. I don't, uh, they feel like those um, squishy things uh, whose names um, escape me right now because I'm trying to rush through this to get to the Jets. Uh, in the back here we've got a blind box horror collector pack. This one's for uh, producer Greg for sure. And this is Loyal Subjects and it's the bloody Jason variant. <laughs> I didn't know they did these. I didn't know they did the horror ones. So that's cool. Yeah. If, uh, if producer Greg doesn't want that, it's possible that uh, Mrs. Producer Greg might be interested in that. And if they don't want it, I'll take it and put it on my shelf with all my other He-Man and Thundercats and G.I. Joe loyal subjects, guys. Hey, anyway, let's get back to the jets. So two jets in here. Uh, one is this thing. This is what happens when an X-Wing uh, gets together with an F-16. Um, I this, is, this happens to me almost never, but we get these kind of comments all the time. Hey, I forgot about X until you mentioned it on your video, and then I was like, oh yeah, I had that thing. That's how I felt about this. I forgot this thing existed, uh, and then when I saw it in the box, I was like, hey, I had that thing. Uh, there's like a clip here that theoretically can open the cockpit, but oh man, does that hurt, so I'm not even going to try to do it. Um, but it's just weird, because it's not, it's like not spacey enough to really be like a space vehicle. Because it's just an F-16 with like an extra set of wings on there. But oh man, is that a cool thing. And then also, uh, this is another one <laughs> where I had never even heard of this line. It's called Power Movers by Kenner. Yeah, Kenner in 1983. And the whole idea of it here was that th it, these vehicles, there was a couple of... I think there was an F-14, there was a space shuttle, and then a couple of trucks and stuff. The idea was that it had movement features that could be activated without batteries. And yet they're like super smooth. Uh, these wheels don't turn, which I thought was a little weird. But this mechanism is just a dream. It's so smooth. Look at that. Oh, man. It retracts the landing gear. It folds the... It sweeps the wings back. These little... It, it just... And, you know, I, once I looked it up after, uh, after I saw this, when I opened the box, I looked up the whole line and I was like, wow, if I was only going to get one, this is absolutely positively the one I wanted to get. So, uh, John, thank you. Thank you very much for sending all that stuff in. It's amazing. Robbie from Roanoke, Alabama. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Has previously sent in some cool stuff, and I am not surprised to see that he sent in some cool stuff again, including this is, I don't... Look, I collect stormtroopers, so thank you. <laughs> but uh, this is a, a weird sort of random batch of uh, stormtroopers here. We've got, um, I'm I'm gonna, not going to be able to name them directly to what series they belong to, except for this one. This was uh, straight up Power of the Force, regular one. Uh, first time they ever did the Sand Trooper, which, oh man, was I so excited for these when they came out. Uh, it was just, it was that trooper that I had always wanted. And you never thought you were actually going to see that type of uh, figure come out. Uh, so, alright, so we got this one, this one. These guys are similar. It's kind of like a little evolution of the troopers here. What did Luke, what's Luke doing in here? This is, uh, this is, 
T16 Skyhopper Luke, where he's flying the model around. One of, one of the nicer, this was sort of a makeup Luke, uh, because the first Farm Boy Luke was terrible, <laughs> and I don't like to be negative, uh, but that's just a figure that just, I don't know, just really doesn't fit the aesthetic of Star Wars. He's too beefy. <laughs> it's jacked up Luke. Uh, we got a great, uh, this has always been a great uh, Hoth snowtrooper here. He's a little, he's a little stout uh, as well, but uh, I always dug that figure. And then these weapons racks came with, I think, these guys. Because uh, these are the same guy, right? Yeah, those are the same guys. Uh, yeah, and so this was another one that it was like, ah, oh, they're getting closer to, to being really good figures. You know, you had the pivoting head, you had the swiveling elbows, uh, even though they didn't have a real live elbow joint. Uh, but you actually had bendable knees here, so you're getting a lot more posability out of them at that point. Uh, you know, it was a, definitely an upgrade from this. Uh, this guy, I think, I can't remember if this is the single-packed version or if this was part of the, uh, they had, like, multi-packs. Like, Entertainment Earth, at one point, did a multi-pack, like a troop builder set that was, like, five or six figures all together. And they basically all looked like this, and they all came with the same accessories and whatever. And I definitely bought one or two of those sets, and they were dirty and stuff, but, oh, man, it was just perfect to get those. And then this Stormtrooper... He's actually not that old. I think he's only like a year or two old. Two years old? Uh, and he's got the snap-on armor. Actually, this might be from... I can't remember if this was Force Awakens or during the Rogue One release, but uh, I definitely have this one already, so, you know, Stormtroopers, you can't have too many. Uh, but that's a nice little assortment of Troopers and Lukes. Uh, and then over here we've got these... Uh, they're like... I can't call them, like, Sofubi because I don't think they actually fit that Japanese... Uh, definition, but I'll be honest, I don't know what the exact definition of a Sofubi figure is. Uh, but I've seen these guys at Walmart, I've seen them at dollar stores and stuff um, at various times, depending on who's got them in stock. Uh, but this is cool. Robbie sent in the whole batch here. Starscream, Soundwave, Optimus, and Megatron. I'll definitely, those will be great uh, for throwing up in the back, just to just to fill out the shelves to decorate the set while we're shooting episodes. Uh, Robbie, thanks so much for sending this stuff in. Andrew from Louisville, Kentucky, sent in uh, a, another mixed bag of... It's a box. A mixed box of, box of stuff. <laughs> We've got uh, Deluxe, I don't know, Collector's Edition Buzz Lightyear here. Complete with... Uh, I'm going to have to take that off. Some kid wrote their name on the bottom. Uh, complete with uh, lights and sounds and... Let's see if this works. Hang on. All right, that works. All right, he's got voice activation. He's got his head. He's got... We checked... Everything checks out. I think we've got... There it is. He's not even in frame. Anyway, that's the that's this has to be the best. Ooh, look at that! This has to be the best uh, Buzz Lightyear that's uh, been made. I had the original original one that came out with the first movie. Um, it didn't quite have all of this functionality to it, um, but that's a really good one and a nice big figure to put in the background of the show. Who's <laughs> we've got uh, this? I think this is New Fifty Two Batman. Not positive. No, this is the, uh, yeah, New 52. This is the Jim Lee designs. Um, I don't think I grabbed this one ever. So this is a cool Batman. Uh, here's the thing, though. If you look at the, if, if you look back at uh, some of our previous videos, you'll see that uh, when Batman vs. Superman came out, we did a booth video that was uh, essentially a challenge. Who, who did I have more figures of, Batman or Superman? Uh, this is tilting the scales in the wrong direction. <laughs> Um, but good news, uh, there's also a Superman figure in here. And this one is awesome. <laughs> Not just because it's Superman, uh, but because it's based on the Superman animated series. And uh, if I was only going to own one of those figures uh, from all the figures that they released, and they did, I think they just recently did the entire just, well, they did, there's a whole line of Batman figures. And then they did uh, a couple of Superman figures, and then I think they recently did the Justice League, like the entire Justice League. Um, Superman, obviously, favorite, and this one is just super nice. Uh, my one real complaint with these figures, I'm not sure if you can see it in here, but uh, because of the like heart, the plastic, and the sort of flat paints that they use, they get scratched up real easily. And if you know a way <laughs> to clean that up, let me know, because I don't know for sure. This will look fine, you know, standing on the shelf, whatever. Um, just one of the best versions of Superman ever, and I am, this is, uh, fine, seeing this in the box, uh, Andrew, it was just, just an absolute delight. I love this figure. I love that cartoon. I love everything about it, so, uh, I'm 
particularly excited to get that. We've got Thing from the animated series, uh, complete with trench coat. Uh, should be a Toy Biz figure. And then uh, all kinds of other stuff in here. We've got Bruce. Bruce Lee with his nunchakus. We've got... Oh no! <laughs> Nightwing eh, with a busted off hand. Maybe the hand's in there. We shall see Darkwing Duck and the Quick Change Pink Ranger. I can't remember if it switches. Nope, it switches the other way. All right, there we go. From Kimberly to the Pink Ranger, we've got a tiny, adorable Megazord, which I think I saw the sword in here. Ah, one of my favorite Power of the Force figures, Bespin Luke. Love this guy. I was so excited for him to come out. Uh, I don't even care if his lightsabers or his gun is in here because I've definitely got uh, extras there. Uh, I've just, Bestman Luke's always been my favorite Luke. Love the costume. Love all the moments from the film. He's even got his torn pocket. And I just like the simplicity of this figure. This is when I felt like they were really doing the Power of the Force line right. He's even got the removable hand. I love this figure so much. I, I've definitely got a complete one. I've probably got a carded one as well, uh, but I don't mind having another loose one. We've got legendary <laughs> Defender Voltron. Uh, baby Han Solo, complete with blaster. I gotta get that new Mud Trooper Han Solo. That thing just hit. I don't have it yet. Uh, in the box, we've got, yeah, there's the uh, sword for the Megazord. I have to glue that on. A couple other bits here, including uh, these would be Bruce's boxing gloves. Hey, I don't know what this is from. Obviously, it's uh, Roller from Optimus Prime. I just don't know what particular release it is. This back piece opens up. Um, I don't know if this is part of the MP10 or if this is a third party jam. Let me know in the comments if you know, because I don't know. Cool. All right, that's all that stuff. That is a bunch of cool things. Uh, specifically, like I said, this uh, Superman is just, just really cool. Thank you very much, Andrew. Brian from Fort Wayne, Indiana knows that uh, I am a fan of both G.I. Joe and translucent action figures. So, uh, two great tastes, taste great together. He decided he was gonna get me uh, started on a translucent, I don't know what that is, translucent G.I. Joe action figure collection. So he figured, hey, I'll send Dan one or two and I'll, I'll give him a list of like everything that I know of exists. And then he was like, nah, forget that plan. I'm just gonna send him all the figures. So <laughs> this is a whole bunch of translucent G.I. Joe figures. We have, uh, oops, we have, there we are. The Wraith from uh, 25th anniversary line. We have, this was a really hard, really uh, expensive figure <laughs> to find uh, when it was released. Um, you know, I just said that uh, Brian included a note that had everybody's names here. Oh, this one's, this one's got the file card with it. This is Mirage, just like the race car transformer. Look at that guy. Oh, oh, man. It looks like... I know these are like the hoses and stuff on his uh, gear, but it looks like his guts. Also, that looks like the Fantastic Four logo on his back. That dude is fantastic. I mean, these are all fantastic. I can't not love translucent figures. I don't even care who they are. Uh, this guy is named something that I don't know off the top of my head, but he's beautiful and delicious. Over here, we've got... Ah, oh, this dude... Venom or something like that. Uh, I don't remember. He reminds me of the Tyrant from Resident Evil. That's why I've always dug him. Uh, I don't love his head. And this is the sort of venomized version of him. I, if I'm using the wrong word there, I apologize for that. I can't remember. This was an era when I was checked out of G.I. Joe. And I haven't done a ton of... Uh, checking back in for this era, other than this figure who I love so much. Uh, and I've done some custom jobs where I put a different head on him and stuff because I hate this. Uh, I love this. I hate this. This guy in Translucent didn't know he existed. It's almost like it's my birthday. We got a Translucent Cobra Commander here. So good. Oh, man. Ah, oh, this booth makes him look so good. So delicious. And then, oh, this is, uh, who are you? Who are you? Another, he's clear. Oh. Man, try not to break them. I know translucents can get delicate. This guy. Oh, I think this is Destro. Ah, man. Ah, it's so good. And then these two guys, of course, are the uh, same guy. An era, a few eras apart. The Inferno Bat. From, uh... This is from... 
I think this was a collector's club figure. Um, I might be wrong on that, but just wow. Ugh. And I love this mold. Uh, just from 25th in general. I have a, I have, I have more than one bat, that's for sure. Uh, I just love this mold. And to have this dude in translucent, forget it. Man, I love the sculpted chest stuff there. It's just so great. What an awesome batch of figures. Uh, Brian, thank you so much for sending that in. Uh, this is This is truly... Like, I don't even know, man. This is just good stuff uh, to, to expand on my uh, translucent collection by that much in G.I. Joe with a bunch of figures that I honestly didn't even know exist. Thank you, sir. And lastly, Marty from Chicago, Illinois. You may know him as the Marty half of Marty and Sarah Love Wrestling, which is a podcast about how much Marty and Sarah love wrestling. Not like wrestling each other, but professional wrestling like the WWE and them watching it and stuff. Uh, it can be found at Marty and Sarah, Marty and Sarah love wrestling.com. It's a podcast about wrestling. And you know, if you too, you too love wrestling, then you should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Uh, and I'll even go so far as to say that if you're just looking for any podcasts here, let me show you the sticker here that they sent me. Uh, this will, this will plug everything for them. Um, if uh, I have to get back to my notes here, uh, if you two uh, love wrestling, even if you're not, you know what? Even if you're not a big wrestling fan, it is definitely entertaining and worth your time to check it out. And I swear to gosh, I am not saying, hey, look at this. They sent me a cool pin. Hang on. We got this cool pin. That's cool. It's a uh, love wrestling. Marty. Oh, I've got it upside down. Don't be a jerk. There it is. Uh, so cool pin. Uh, and I, I promise you, I'm not saying all of this. Uh, just because they sent me a Lego Voltron. <laughs> uh, those are all the, the volumes of uh, booklets here to put everything together. Uh, it's not just because they sent me a Lego Voltron. It's because it is already assembled. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's not... It's not that I it's not that I wouldn't have put it together, it's that I don't have to. And that is how you truly spell love. Uh I, I, wow. <laughs> this is uh, this is the first time I've actually seen one in person uh, and been able to hold one in my hand. Uh, this is way bigger than I was expecting it to be. Holy cow, this thing is huge. Hang on. What are the other lines here? We got red, yellow. Is there's the black lion. I guess this is probably blue and green. I don't think I'm gonna have time to actually assemble this whole thing here. Oh man, there's the sword and shield. Dang, that's all I can say about this. Holy cow! All right, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit. Uh, just a little bit of maintenance here to get this thing back up on its feet. Back up on its blue and yellow lions. Uh, weird. Is, is it weird that blue line was always my favorite? I don't know. Something about the blue uh, and, and the size of it. The red and the green just seemed a little too insignificant because they were a little too, you know, they were like small. They were arms. I'm a leg. I'm, I'm, I want to kick. I want to run. I want to jump. <laughs> and blue line was just, it was my, and I like yellow line too. These guys are great. Uh, but what a heck of a thing. Marty and Sarah, thank you so much for sending these things in. Talk about things that'll be in the background of the show. This thing will be standing tall, standing gigantically in the back of the show. Whew, man. All right, so that's obviously not in black lion mode. That's in uh, torso mode. But I am blown away by this thing already. Here's the little face. Here it is. Here's the little face. There we go. There it is. There it is. All right, that's going to make for a beautiful thumbnail. Uh, thank you to Eli, Judah, Cadence, Inez, Jim, John, Robbie, Andrew, Brian, Marty, Sarah. Thank you for watching this and all of our videos. Hit like, hit subscribe, check out our Patreon if you're in the position to help the channel grow. Thank you so much. Thanks again. Later.